going on, guys? It's Juancho Pancho. This is Vibey Wybey. Why? 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 Because you said Juancho Pancho. This is Mr. Juancho. And this is Mr. Vibe. And we are on set of Sabercraft. On location at Sabercraft. Well, it's like it's like a dancing mixed martial arts type of thing. So I would say it's a set. Yeah, but set. That we do here but we're not. This is not lights, camera, action, though. What's going on, guys? This is Mr. Juancho. This is Mr. Vibe. And we are on location of Sabercraft. We're checking out the fundamentals class, so enjoy it as Juancho gets down and dirty and, and, and explore my inner self. Vibe, and I'm here with Sabercraft. What version of Mega Man are you? Darth Kratos.
one time. They will attack then one time. You will attack one time. They will attack one time. So you're going to do one through ten. And you are going to defend one through ten. Over and over and over. For the next two minutes. What's going on guys? We're here with Sabercraft. I'm um, Mr. Honcho. This is Vibe. We and just finished the uh, fundamentals class. And guys, we'd love to hear about giving you guys inspiration to do this. Santiago and I have known each other for a long time. Um, <laughs> and so we were inspired uh, by a variety of films and, and uh, different, different styles out there with martial arts and such to get more into swordplay. So um, we discovered Ultra Sabers and we, we, we purchased our Ultra Sabers, um, fell in love with the product, and then we started utilizing uh, them and other, other types of LED stunt sabers, aka lightsabers out there. And uh, we started mimicking what was in movies and then learning uh, different programs, and then we came across this one particular one uh, called Saber Combat that we really gravitated towards. Um, we pretty much took elements of that system, we took uh, elements of yoga as well, um, and then we mixed them together and created this form that we, that we now have called Sabercraft. So it utilizes a lot of these fundamentals that we have, these foundation core elements, and then we, we grow with different choreographies. Yeah, with that. Now what, what the, what the uh, fans don't know is that Juancho and I actually came out a couple months ago, and we were actually surprised, the fundamental class, how physically active it was, how much, how much stress actually was on the body. Is this set for a particular body type or, or uh, physical fitness, would you say? On the contrary, this should be open to everyone. We welcome everyone, and anyone can do this as long as they put the effort into it. Now, is this anything related to Star Wars or anything like that? Okay, so obviously the similarities are because of, you know, these glowing sticks, yes. right? So one would immediately look at our class and they would say, oh, it's a Star Wars class. Uh, and no, it's not. Um, these aren't lightsabers. You can touch them. They don't burn you. Uh, we don't teach anything that's Star Wars related. Everything here is based off of yoga. It's based off of saber combat. It's based off of choreog combat choreography training. Big focus for us is we love to do shows. You're right, we want to elevate people. So people come, you know, a lot of people are in the box, very introverted, and we show them how to open up and how to defend themselves, how to attack. And the focus is to not hit each other, but rather make it look like we're hitting each other. Can you break down exactly what you're teaching in the fundamentals classes? Great, great question. So we open with meditation, because we want to make sure that everyone is level set, ready to go for this, and they're mindful of what they're doing, their body movements. Well, we go into then yoga postures. So simple yoga postures, level one. And then from there, you learn the basic fundamentals of the targeting system of saber combat. And then from there, we start bringing in different routines and you start mixing what you've learned throughout the day and you do it in what we call a dance, right? So it's a dance, a sword play dance that you're doing with someone else. We dim the lights, put the music up, and we get into our zone just get lost in the dance. And most importantly, it's the build confidence. It's the build confidence in yourself. This is the one place that you can come and be as, as you know, crazy as you want, as happy as you want, as excited as you want, with not, with not worrying about anyone judging you or thinking of anything less of you. You come here to feel good, feel good about yourself, feel confident about yourself. And if people leave here with their heads held up high, then we've done our job. But how would newcomers or fans look you guys up? Best way will be online, definitely. So, uh, sabercraft.org. Uh, you would also go to our Facebook page, so facebook.com forward slash sabercraft.org. Guys, okay, so thank you for tuning in. This is Geek Bros, Sabercraft Special Edition. That's it for Sabercraft episode of Geek Bros. Juancho, you were a trooper. Tell me about it. I'm out of breath. I feel like my oxygen level's down to like 80. But you made it look good. Oh my god, I didn't know this was going to be so hard. I thought this was going to be easy. Second class, and it's even harder, man. 
We're gonna be back to check out the. We're gonna be back to check out the advanced class in the future. But if you have any interest, come out and join Sabercraft. Thanks for tuning in. This is Vibe. This is Wancho. And this is Geek Bros. Check out more episodes coming. Flex for us. Flex for us. That's not flexing.